Right, we're making this video today to try and explain how to use your IP box on iOS 8 iPhones. Uh, to do this you're going to need an iOS 8 adapter. Uh, these arrived today and we've been having a little play around to learn how to use it. Um, we're going to come back to the hardware in a moment. First of all we need to program our box to use iOS 8 settings and I'll run through these with you quite quickly. So what we do is first of all we'll launch uh, 8.2 version software and we will connect a mini USB cable direct to PC and then we're just going to power our clip with an iPhone that we've got around and once that's detected it's going to read all the information out of the clip and the last numbers used etc. Now to program it we're going to use the avoid computer test tab and we need to make sure that the settings are like the ones we have here. Uh, we've got 150 for the top one, 30 for the second, and 300 for the third. Now this is an important one. We've got it set on 40 seconds and what this is, it's how long it's going to take for an iPhone to reboot. Now we've set it on 40 seconds to add on side of caution. We've actually tested the iPhone we're going to work on and that takes around 26 27 seconds so you might be able to shave a few seconds off this but we're going to leave it on 40 for now also uh, under test plan one on your software we're going to get it to start at zero and finish on 9999 like you normally would now we need to tell it to work as an ios 8 uh, software so we're going to program the clip with ios 8 only one uh, we're going to select a server, we'll try server 1 and we'll press download free computer test plus plan 1 it's taking its time, sometimes these servers can be busy it's arid. We just try another server. Doesn't like that one. We'll try number two. Okay, so that that's completed it now. Now you'll notice when you do this, uh, you can close your software now. That that's finished with. We don't need that anymore. But you'll also notice is when you repower your box after this it's going to come up with these lines now this is normal just remember you've told this every time it powers to wait 40 seconds so that actually won't come to life and say USB with the software running until 40 seconds is up and then you can reprogram it back so just keep that in mind that you have got this delay on it so I'm just going to power it down we don't need this uh, iPhone anymore power and we're going to come to look at this iOS 8 adapter now so you've got an idea of how it all rigs up what you've actually got is you've got the adapter itself now the adapter connects to your IP box uh, through two methods it connects on the mini USB and it also connects where you'd normally have your light sensor so first of all I'm going to connect that now you've got two other connections here now this one here is your light sensor which we've already connected to our iPhone uh, this is an iPhone 5 uh, 5s we're working on it's iOS version 8.0.2 so check your connections make sure they're on now we've already put our sensor in an area where it's just above the slide for emergency um, so that's that one set and the other one now you get, uh, I think it's five connectors for these. What this is, it connects from the adapter to where the battery would would sit here. And this is what's going to be powering the iPhone on and back off again between efforts. So what we need to do is we're going to put our mini USB cable in. And we're also going to connect up. The USB cable supplied with the box. You need powered cables for this, by the way. 
And what this will start to do now is starting to power the phone up. And once that phone powers up, then the IP box will kick in. Right, so the phone's booted up. But remember, we've got this millisecond delay of 40 seconds as well, so we need to wait. Now it's just fired number one and we heard the, the iPhone vibrate as the errors because the code isn't number one we've actually set it on number uh, 0012 so it's going to take a while for us to, to do that on this video and I'll probably upload another video showing you the clip's reaction once it's actually found the code but what happens is as soon as it's sent a wrong code it'll automatically reboot the iPhone and once that's kicked in, we wait 40 seconds and it's going to try the next code, which would be 002. And it will continue to do this. Now, when we tested it earlier, once it did find the code, IP box flashed as normal because the light sensor detected the screen change and it displayed the correct code on the screen. Uh, we've tested this on today on 8.0.2. Uh, if we get any get his hands on some other iPhones, we will test it and report more later on. You can buy the IP box and the iOS 8 adapter from phonefunshop.co.uk. Just check the forensics link at the top right hand side. Thanks for watching.